Hello, this is Landon Ritchie from Design Visionaries, and today I'm going to show you some reverse engineering. Uh, in here in NX, I have a faceted model of a, an Xbox 360 controller. It looks like a third-party one. And uh, so, you know, if you're ever in a situation where you have to uh, design something based off another product on the market, a uh, helpful thing is to be able to pull in the model and make changes on it and, you know, reverse engineer it. But sometimes you don't always have a solid model available, and you may have to use... Um, you may have to use a facet model or some stereolithography or maybe even a scan that you did um, that you had laser scanned or even one of those little office laser scanners that we have here uh, from Sense and Cubify. They have some pretty cool ones. Um, anyway, so to get started, I'm going to show you rapid surfacing, which allows you to create quick surfaces from this faceted model. Um, rapid surfacing requires you to pick a faceted body and then from here it lets you draw on a faceted body to create the surface. Um, this expects four sides to a surface, so you have to draw four curves to make your surface. Um, we're going to go ahead and uh, start with, um, let's go ahead and start with these buttons here, like the, the this little round D-pad part. And I'm going to go ahead and draw around it. So uh, sometimes less is more uh, with these. Uh, sometimes more is less, so it really depends on the facet model you're working with. Um, but you can put in these little control points that will generate the curve that you want to extract from this. Um, so I can draw around here, uh, just like that. If you mess up, you can always move these these curves around. So um, that that's going to have to be my top surface. Um, you can see it turned red because I just I hit X set points and then I need to do my next surface but since this is round it's just going to be four sections of a circle so I'll just go ahead and hit X set points there for my next one and we're going to go ahead and draw the bottom half here and I'll accept those points and then finally we're going to draw the last section here um, as you can see, maybe I put in not enough curves or circles here, so put one right on there. Which is a great, a great. It lets you, um, it lets you move and add more points as you see fit. If it doesn't come out looking great, and I'll just hit middle mouse button. You see all the red curves turn blue, which means my surface is ready to be generated, and I hit OK. And what rapid surfacing tries to do, it tries to emulate the. Um, contour of the faceted body that's in the section that you created so as you can see by height that you can still see the shape of the d-pad here um, so which you may need to use a snipping tool to get rid of surfaces you don't want to appear in that um, so if I go to insert uh, let's go or edit I'm just going to show that again show this um, but if you just really want a contour of the surface, you know, this is really great. I can go on here and I can draw on this. And let's say I want to move these points to the edge here. I just want this surface right in between here to work with. Because um, I want the way it's shaped. So we'll just draw here move them around, maybe even go as far as the edge if I wanted to. But for now I'm just going to go ahead and pull these like this and this. Hit OK. I got that one. And move it around here. And click one there. Hit OK. And I'm just going to go around this D-pad or analog button and hit OK. Alright. And now I have a nice surface from this controller and I can go through that controller and I can make surfaces from all over it and put it together sew it together and make a whole new solid out of this controller if I wanted to and that's the power of rapid surfacing you can easily quickly um, put together a solid model from a scan or a stereolithography you could even scan someone's face if you wanted to do a pair of you know conforming eyeglasses or something really cool that's wearable um, that's another great way to use uh, rapid surfacing.